to another edition of Microshock.com. Today we're introducing a couple of new features, um, but first of all, we're still working on the blue screen thing here, so it's still going to look monumentally shitty. Uh, we have to get some better lighting for this room, and anyway, um, so first I'm going to start off this segment with uh, something we like to call fail mail. Um, the internet being what it is, people like to comment on the shit that I post up on the internet. And uh, I thought, you know, I'd take the time in some videos to talk about it. Case in point. Party King 420 writes to me and says, Only a complete loser takes the time to find flaws. Period. I bet you have hundreds of hours watching car space tunes. So... Anyways, uh, Party King 420 on top of having the most unoriginal name on the internet, um, you've got to work on your sentence structure. First of all, um, you don't have any complete ideas. For, for example, only a complete loser takes time to find flaws. Okay, so what's your argument here? Um, I bet you have hundreds of hours watching cartoons. Cartoons is one word, my friend. It's a compound word. Cartoons, there's no space. You bet I have hundreds of hours watching cartoons. So there's another incomplete sentence. Hundreds of, hundreds of hours watching cartoons, what? What are you trying to get across? You have two incomplete sentences, and you know if you didn't put that period, you would have sounded less like a retard. Um, and you're right, I do like to point out flaws, especially the flaws in emails I get from assholes like you. Anyways, so um, this brings up another um, thing that often happens whenever I post up videos is that, uh, you know, some asshole tells me I need to, like, get friends. Well, I'm taking it a little easy because I, I already did my, my whole Robert England tribute and, you know, I figured I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something that nobody expected me to do. See, these, these friends I apparently don't have? Well, I did what I call a movie blind date. Essentially, I bought a movie not knowing what the fuck it was about, invited a bunch of friends over, we sat down, we watched the movies, and, you know, anything can happen. So anyways, in this particular instance, we sat down and watched the film Boarding House, which, um, after watching it, I turned on the camera and I asked my friends what they thought of it. Um, and, you know, this is their response. So, state your name. I'm Dan. Okay, and what movie did we just make you watch? Wardham House. What, 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 what did you think was the most memorable part of the movie? Oh, it, it wasn't the boobs, it was the ESP freaking ice oh, wait. Oh, wait. Was there anything about this movie you found particularly upsetting? Yeah, the VGA color. All of a sudden, the movie becomes VGA. And it's like, what? Well, okay, so if, if you were to be nice to this movie and say that there was actually a part of it that was actually good. Boobies. <laughs> the boobies. I mean, there's there's nothing plot-wise that you enjoyed no, about the movie? No, no, no. It, 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 it's plot. like, there, was there a plot? There was no plot. Oh, you caught me right in the middle of changing. <laughs> Hi Liz, how's it going? I'm well, how are you? Um, well, pretty good actually. Anyways, how you doing? I'm good, what, you just asked me that. <laughs> well, uh, what movie did you just see? I just saw the movie Boarding House. Yeah, and uh, what do you think about it? Three thumbs up. Three, how do you explain that? I don't have three thumbs, but if I did, they'd be up. Where would they be up? <laughs> Your ass. <laughs> Was there any particular moment in this film that you thought was very illuminating? Did you, did you, what was likable about the movie? Illuminating to the film? No. Best part in the movie? If that's what you're asking, which I assume that's what you're getting at. Yeah. But I think probably the best scene was the, um, the in the first maybe half hour of the film where there was the... Uh, the like breast. an eternity ago, essentially. Right. The, the breast against the shower curtain and then the direct remo removal of the person out of the shower curtain and then all of a sudden the special effects makeup which she had a pig and then like a weird principal haircut. <laughs> okay, so you're talking about the scene I can't show on YouTube. All right, I <laughs> continue. Okay, so... It was what, awesome. What, was, was there any part of the movie that you found particularly frightening? Frightening. Um, because of quality or because of scariness? You know, use your own judgment. 
quality. Um, I thought that the the actor portraying Barack Obama <laughs> did a terrible job faking his own suicide. So, uh Um, you know what was really kind of frightening? There was this scene, right, where they had like this this monkey, and the woman was sort of she started caressing the monkey in a loving, sexual manner, like a prostitute might. And then all of a sudden, someone like in the dream sequence must have died. It was kind of frightening because she was jacking off the monkey's paw. <laughs> and you know what I say about monkey's paw? Never make a wish. So okay, so final question. Um, can you capsulize this movie in one sentence? Nick, this movie is out of this world. Sign off, Horatio Kane. <laughs> what are your initial thoughts about this movie? Boobies. Like the there, there wasn't enough boobies? Could have been more. How, been more. how much boobies was there? Can you, can you put it to a mathematical equation? Oh, my glasses. Can, Blame me. Okay. Hey Nick. Hi Liz, how's it going? Pretty good. What did you think about Boarding House? Well, if I were to compare it to any sort of life experience, I'd have to say it's like the cinematic equivalent of someone sticking a broom handle up your ass and breaking it off. Nick? Yeah, hi. What would you say was your favorite part of this movie? Well, you know, I have this great affinity towards railroads, and I enjoyed that there were scenes where people were running down railroads. It had nothing to do with the plot, but I had to say that, you know, I really enjoy trains, and when I was watching those scenes where people were running down the railroad, shouting incomprehensible lines and bad focus, I'm like, you know what this movie could use? Some fucking trains, because that would be fucking awesome. And, you know, it would have been even greater if the trains were hitting the people that were running down the railroad. I, I thought that would be a great addition to the film. What would you say would be something that you would do differently if you were the producer of this film and or director? Oh, I'd put the, the uh, lead actor in a speedo every scene. Nick? Yeah, hi. What was your favorite line from this movie? <laughs> um, probably the lines of coke they were doing before they started filming, because there aren't any memorable ones that were written into the script. <laughs> so. Nick, if you were going to give this movie like a grading out of 10, what would you grade this movie? 35. Good choice. Out of what? Just 35. All right. So that being said, <laughs> um, that ends our review this time around. Um, I'm not going to comment on the movie right now because I'm actually going to be going down to Cleveland uh, and hanging out with another Microshock regular. The great Rhonda Bogman and her uh, colleague Rochelle Williams. Um, we're going to be collaborating together and coming up with a, a video. We're probably going to be reviewing Boarding House and giving our own takes on what we thought about the movie. So um, if you like my videos, come back and watch it. If not, send me an angry e email because you just might end up on fail mail. Anyways, check back at microshock.com at any time. We have regular updates. Probably more shitty videos for you assholes to complain about. Um, the website again is www.microshock.com and uh, if you want to get a fast line to sending me that hate mail, don't forget to mark urgent when you send it to microshock at dorkswithoutfaces.com. Have a good day and go fuck yourself. Yeah.